Hey guys, what is up everyone? Today I got a short video for you on how to install Ubuntu Server 18.04 LTS. I do a tutorial on that because I have a few projects upcoming that need Ubuntu Server, like installing Zabbix or some other monitoring software and fun kind of stuff. So I thought why not make a video to how to install Ubuntu Server as well. So before you start to go ahead and actually download the ISO file from their website and also make sure you have VirtualBox installed. I'll leave a link to the download for Ubuntu in the description below and just go ahead and download VirtualBox and install it. It's very easy, just leave everything as default and run the installer. I'm gonna install it as a virtual machine because I need to make some snapshots so that in case I mess something up, I can go back to the original installation state. All right, once that is done, Open VirtualBox, click on New, enter a name for your machine. In my case, it's Ubuntu Server 18.04 LTS, and it should automatically choose the correct settings here. So click on Next. I'll allocate it 2 GB of RAM for now. You can still change that later, but that should be sufficient. Click on Next, click to create a virtual hard disk now and choose VDI, then leave it on dynamically allocated. That means however much disk space you choose here, it will only fill up uh, the actual used disk space, saving you physical disk space. So I'll give it 20 gigs for now, and then choose a location where you want to save your virtual machine. I'm gonna save it on my games. SSD and click on save. Then click on create. All right, now the machine is created. Now we need to run the installation. I first added to a new group in here and I rename it to Linux and just start the server. When you start it up for the first time, you will get asked to provide an ISO file, which of course is what we just have downloaded. So we choose Ubuntu Server 18.04, click open and click on start. It takes a couple of seconds for the machine to boot up in the installation routine. And about a minute later or so, we are in the menu or in the installer menu. So choose your language. That's already a new GUI on how to install it. Looks pretty neat. Haven't seen it before myself. So choose a language and choose a keyboard layout. I go for German. That actually is a really nice clean installer compared to the one before. Really like that. Uh, click on done. Then you can choose to install Ubuntu or install Mass Bare Metal Cloud. That's a new feature. I haven't read up on that, but I will go into that in another tutorial later on. So for now, we just want to install Ubuntu. All right, then we see that we have a network interface uh, residing on the NAT network that VirtualBox set up. So we leave that as it is. Click on Done. We don't have a proxy, so that we don't need to enter a proxy server here. Uh, the mirror we leave on default for now and we want to use the entire disk and we choose our virtual box uh, hard drive that we created just now. Then we can recheck all our settings and click on done and be sure that all data will be erased on uh, the just created hard drive. So that's fine, just click on continue. Enter a name, we call it course uh, my name and our server's name will be COSEC Ubuntu 18.04 username will also be this and you should choose a stronger password than me and we don't need to import SSH identity now so click done then you can choose uh, additional features so you could pre-install any of those if you wanted to but for now I'm not gonna do that 
and the installer is running. I will pause the video here and we'll be back in a second. Alright, that took about two minutes and the installer is done. Now click or hit enter to reboot and it should already boot into the live system I think. Uh, yeah, now we can remove the installation medium, but I actually think VirtualBox is doing that by itself. It already, it already uh, dropped it out, so just hit enter. You don't need to remove anything. And now we should boot up into our Ubuntu server 18.04. Alright, that took a couple of seconds to boot. And now you can log in with your credentials. Oh, actually, that was the wrong one. We created a different user, right? We created this one. So enter your username and the password and you should be able to log in. And there it is. Freshly installed Ubuntu Server 1804 LTS. Now, before I do anything right now, I will just go ahead, close this window, power off the machine and we'll create a snapshot. So how you create a snapshot in VirtualBox is you just select the server and I'm always, yeah, they have a new menu, so. All right, you go here and you go take and you would name it fresh installation. I always also put this here without any updates. So in case you play around with it and you mess it up, you can just go back to that installer state and you don't need to reinstall it again. Alright, this concludes this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for a lot of Ubuntu server stuff coming in uh, the near future and especially Zabbix installation and setup will be coming very soon. So subscribe to the channel if you liked the video and give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one.